introducing DeepSeek version 3, three times faster than version 2, enhanced capability, API compatibility intact, full open source models, and also paper. This is in par with Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and also beating Cloud 3.5 Sonnet in many of these benchmarks. It is a huge model, 671 billion mixture of experts model with 37 billion active parameters trained on 14 trillion high quality tokens. Cost wise, it is the cheapest among the top models. Also, it's much more cheaper up until Feb 8th. You can see the cost here and this is far cheaper than many other top models. Here is the performance comparison in various benchmark. In math, you can see it's 90 and Claude Sonnet is just 78.3 where GPT-40 is 74.6. It's only slightly lower in SWA bench. Apart from that, for other benchmarks, this is much better. And here is the base architecture. So when you take the transformer block in the feed forward network, you got the deep seek mixture of experts, which means you got multiple experts, expert in a specific topic, and this router will route to the expert and hence giving a high quality answer. Similarly, in regards to attention, it uses a multi-head latent attention. It supports 128,000 tokens and this is the needle in a haystack test. Generally a large language model will forget what is in the middle but in regards to this model it's able to remember every single bit and you can see the score here. It's green. That is really nice. We are going to do a programming test, logical and reasoning test and finally misguided attention test. But before that I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. We can use this model for free in chat.deepseek.com. First, programming test. Python, going to go for very hot challenge. Identity matrix. Asking the large language model to create a function to generate identity matrix. Copying the instruction and asking the large language model here. Now it's generating me the response and here's the answer, just copying the answer. And I'm going to test it here. That is a pass. Next, Python expert level challenge, least common multiple. Just copying the instruction and asking the large language model. And it's generating me the code. I can see it's using the math module. Not sure if the test system which we are using is supported. Let me try that. Checking it. A module error. Could be the system which we are trying to test. So copying the error message and asking it here to identify if it's able to identify the error. And clearly it's able to identify the error saying that it's specific to Python version 3.5. That is correct. So we're going to copy the code again and running it here. That is a pass. Next expert level challenge, Faraday sequence. Asking the large language model to generate Faraday sequence, copying the instruction and asking it here. Yeah, even the generation is comparatively faster. Just copying the code and testing it here. That is a fail. I'm going to copy the error message and trying again. Again, it gave me Python version 3.6 code. Now it's changing the version again to 3.5, copying the code and testing it here. Again, there is an error. So I'll give this a fail. And the final Python expert level challenge, the ECG sequence, copying the instruction and asking the large language model to generate the response. And I got the answer here, just copying it and testing it here. Again, is an error. Let me try copying the error message and pasting it here. Not sure if the previous chat history context is added to the next conversation. That could be one of the issue that it's not able to clearly identify the answer immediately, but that is an issue with the user interface. Let me try this again, testing it here. That is a pass, so that is good. Let me try a different programming. Let's say JavaScript, expert level challenge. Josephus problem, just copying the instruction saying in JavaScript and asking the large language model here. And now it's generating me the response. Just copying the code. I can see it says NI, so not sure if it'll work. That is a pass, that's really nice. So overall, I'm impressed with the coding ability compared to other models. And also we are testing on an expert level basis. So all the tests which we ran, apart from the first one, everything is expert level. And it is able to identify even if it faces some issues, it's able to fix those errors. So that's really good. Next logical and reasoning test. Give me 10 lines ending with Apple. That is wrong. 
because the fifth one it gave me crunch that is wrong gratitude that is wrong so for two it failed next question number of o's in the word strawberry it's thinking step by step i can see write down the word identify each letter in the word one r then after that two r totally three that is correct most of the other models will fail in this now going to provide seven logical and reasoning questions all together let's see if it's going to answer all these questions now it's giving me the answer and the first answer is right second is correct third is also correct yeah i can see all these answers are correct that is brilliant next we are going to test its agentic behavior to use that i'm going to use the praise and ai package just pip install praise and ai exporting open ai base url that is the deep seek base url exporting open ai api key and exporting open ai model name that is deep seek chat that's it now i'm creating a file called agents.yaml is just a text file so you don't need to code anything here i'm just mentioning the number of agents first is a researcher agent then the narrative designer next we have the script writer agent and the task is to create a movie script about cat in mars and we are mentioning the large language model as deep seek chat we are providing a tool to this agent that is search tool ability to search the internet to run this it's super simple just going to my terminal typing praise in ai and then click enter first it goes to the researcher agent and it's using the search tool searching about mars environment using duckduckgo search collecting all the information then passing that information to the next agent it's able to do function calling without any errors so that is the agentic behavior i'm not seeing any errors during this process you can see beautifully it's rendering the next agent is generating the response finally you can see it's clearly written as per the request so all these agents work together to give me this response so that is a pass and finally misguided attention test and here is the question imagine a runway trolley is hurtling down a track towards five dead people you stand next to a lever that can divert the trolley onto another track where one living person is tied up do you pull the lever so one side five dead people another side one living person tied up so asking the large language model so here you can see that the decision to pull the lever is not straightforward that is wrong because pulling the lever will save the one living person because the other five are already dead so that is a fail overall i'm really impressed with this model considering it's able to compete with cloth 3 points on it and has good agentic behavior the pricing is cheap also it's open source do let me know in the comments below what you think about this considering you already like deep seek version 3 i also created another video which is about open ai's reasoning model which got launched recently with pro mode so do click the link in here to know more about that and i highly recommend for you to watch and i will see you there